<laughs> hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another book review. And as I started to read this book that I'm going to share with you today that I reviewed, um, I kind of took note that I always find myself reading books or, you know, uh, um, geared to books that are about advertising, about marketing. And, um, you know, I don't think that was a necessarily a, a fluke. I don't think that was something that, you know, happened just by chance. I think that I do have that kind of sensibility, you know, as much as, you know, I know I've read other books about, you know, maybe self-help or books that are, um, you know, maybe just kind of about a story, just about the story. And um, so I wanted to take the time kind of just to reach out and say, if you have, you know, you're viewing this and maybe you have a book that you have um, read yourself that you would be interested in to kind of see what I thought about it or what I, you know, you know, got from the book. Um, definitely leave that in the comment box below. Let me share that with me, and I'll definitely give my best effort to kind of find that book and um, put the time in and reading it and then review it. Uh, and not not because you know I feel that the selection of books that I read is not necessarily geared to a lot of people, but more I wanted to be open to a lot of people or open to a lot of different views or different information um, that be that can be found in books that I want to be able to share. Um, but with that said, uh, the book that I'm reviewing today is a, uh, a book on marketing, a book on how to create buzz. You know, it's actually called Buzz, and well, here it is. It's in the harness the influence and create demand. <laughs> this is one I got. I got this book back when I was in school. So it's been, you know, you know, many years, I won't say many years, but it's been a while since I read this book. But I believe when I first uh, got turned on to this book, so I, I was still in school, you know, doing the graphic design program, and um, I found it some way. And even at that time, you can see, you know, see that I was interested in uh, marketing and advertising, you know. And um, so I, you know, I believe I saw, found it online, ordered it, and got it and read it. Um, I think at that time, my knowledge of what you know a marketer was or someone who who's in advertising which might be a little different than it is now i kind of got a bigger and better picture of that and so reading at that time kind of gave me an insight into the business um and how to kind of you know like create the demand for your product and things like that uh, this time around i definitely wanted to read it and see if some of the stuff that they were talking was still relevant you know were you know, moved on. I think this book was published originally in 2003. So that's many, you know, what was that? That's, uh, oh, 15 years ago. Wow. So, um, I definitely wanted to be able to see if the stuff that they were talking about in this book was still relevant in some way. Um, you know, maybe it could have been outdated. Maybe it could have been just kind of like a, a book that was, you know, a flash in the pan. So the stuff that they were talking about is just kind of not really... Um, relevant and so upon reading it um, I found that yeah there is stuff that is still pretty much relevant in this book that you could use um, to build buzz for your product be for your business or your idea that you're trying to share um, I think the reason why it is still relevant is because it was built or written in um, in the vein of using major examples throughout history um, I think that was a major one, um, and you know, I'm, and I'm a, a big component of uh, uh, books that share hard examples. You know, examples that um, anyone can kind of understand and you know can actually you know see outside of reading the book. Uh, I think also uh, there are, uh, the other reason why the book is still relevant is because it was written by people in the industry. You know, it wasn't just written by someone who just kind of was just kind of paying attention. It was actually been uh, written by people um, in advertising. Um, I think that was a huge thing. I think um, also uh, it's easy to read. You know, it wasn't too difficult. It wasn't a whole lot of big words or words that would only be um, meaningful to people in the industry already. Um, so anyone can pick up this book and read it and kind of use the examples that they share um, uh, to, again, to create the buzz or create the, 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 the hooray for their product that they're trying to share. 
Um, one of the examples that I thought was really, really cool was um, how, okay, for example, there was a brand called Buck, and it was spelled F-C-U-K, so or something like that. So it wasn't spelled the natural way you would, person would say, but it was provocative enough that it got buzzed just because of that, just being a little bit, you know, uh, off color, but at the same time, you know, not necessarily saying exactly what it was. And so it was, I think I think it was called, uh, and it was a like a cologne brand, a little bit of a you know fashion brand that kind of thing. And they you know used that name to kind of you know create buzz for themselves and to kind of get to the point where people were taking notice, whether it was good good noticing or bad noticing, people were noticing it. Um, you know, they took that example, you know, to go to explain uh, the fact of being provocative, you know, whether it's, you know, people always say sex sales and that kind of thing, you know, in that same sense. Um, another example they used on a different topic was talking about longevity and talking about how uh, one person can um, reinvent their career and still continue to be relevant year after year after year. And the person that they used as an example of that was Madonna. And if you know Madonna's career, you can see that clearly that year or trend or, you know, uh, 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 whatever it may be, after after and after, um, she's been able to stay relevant, you know, whether or not, you know, uh, 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 it's the people around her, it's her herself. Somehow, in some way, she's always been um, with her hand on the pulse or with her finger on the pulse of the nation um, and being able to stay relevant. You know, maybe at this very, very moment, she's not as relevant as maybe when this book was written, but I think at the same time, you can see that year after year throughout her career, she's been able to um, maintain uh, the ability to stay hot, you know, to stay uh, on the on the tips of people's tongue when I talk about, you know, either it's her fashion, her songs, you know, her, her you know, books that she's written throughout the time or the fact that maybe she's becoming a vegan. I think she, at one point she was in the Muslim um, religion. Um, so the, the, there's there's a lot of examples in this book that kind of help um, explain their standpoint, which I like. Um, again, it was easy to read. I understand the topics. And this being my second time, it was definitely helpful to have all those because maybe some of the stuff I was I had forgotten to get. 2003 I don't remember when if I read in 2003 maybe 2005 but that's still quite a bit of time since then and um, so yeah I would uh, would I would I would I recommend this book to other people I don't necessarily know I think it really depends on if that's your thing if that's what you're interested in again like I've read other um, you know marketing advertising books and I think it's probably the best one of them um, you know again for the examples easy reading um, and again, they go deeper than the, the, just the two examples I shared. I just kind of shared those because those kind of the most scintillating ones. And um, you know, Madonna and you know, and the, the word, the F word. <laughs> so I think um, if that's your interest, this would be a great book to kind of read to kind of give you a little insight. I know it's a little dated, but at the same time, it's still got solid, uh, solid examples. Um, it's not that long of a book, it's maybe like 200 pages, so you can read that in maybe a weekend or even a week, you know, depending on how fast or, you know, deeply get involved in it. Um, but again, I think it's, 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 it has good, solid information that can still be used today, and I think um, that's kind of really what it comes down to. So, again, this was Buzz, Harness the Power of Influence and Create Demand. Um, and I definitely would recommend this for someone who has interest in marketing and advertising. So if you uh, like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing with the channel, definitely got more videos on the road. I know, I know I've been a little slow with getting them out, but I'm definitely trying to um, put the push on and uh, you know share some more videos with you. So if you um, like this video, like this video, definitely leave a comment in the comment box below and like I mentioned earlier in the video if you have a type or if you have a, a topic or a book that you would like me to check out definitely leave that in the comment box 
comment box below as well and I'll definitely do my best to kind of check those out and uh, create a video at some point. So, like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.